Hi everybody, my name is Sam Pedro and welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing five books about corporate white collar crime. Uh, these are fascinating books and entertaining books. Uh, we'll be talking about Theranos, WeWork, Enron, and some of the most massive corporate frauds of all time. And you know, I've been reading books in this genre for a few years now and I just find them fascinating to read about. I also learn a lot from these books. I learn a lot about leadership and about the importance of corporate culture. Uh, I learn how not to lead, how not to treat others, and how to stay out of jail. And while at the same time, I'm also super entertained by these books. I think it's just part of human nature to, to kind of catch on to these crime stories and, and to watch and, and read about others who are making these mistakes. So let's get into the list. So again, five books about corporate white collar crime, and I'll have links to the books below. So let's start off with number one, Bad Blood by John Carreyrou. Of all the books on the list, this one's my favorite. I think it's the most well-written, and it's just an extraordinary book. And so the book tells the story of Elizabeth Holmes and the company she founded, which was Theranos. Holmes was only 19 years old when she founded this company, and over the next decade, she was able to raise hundreds of millions of dollars her net worth was in the billions of dollars, and she was one of the most respected leaders in the world. The only problem was that none of it was real. The, at Theranos, there was rampant fraud, there was lies, there was pressure. The technology she claims to have never actually existed. It didn't work. This book focuses entirely on Holmes and kind of what made her tick. Why did she go down this path of fraud and lies? And a lot of it was because she wanted to be the next Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was her idol and even to the point where she supposedly lowered her voice um, and even wore Steve Jobs type clothing uh, to kind of fit that, that picture of this, you know, the Steve Jobs, this technology CEO and leader. And so overall, this is a wild book. It's, it's amazing, it's worth reading even twice, so go check out Bad Blood. Okay, book number two is The Smartest Guys in the Room by Bethany McLean and Peter Elkin. This book tells the story of Enron, which was one of the biggest corporate scandals of all time. It's a long and detailed book, and that's because the Enron fraud was pretty complex, and this book just dives into all areas of the fraud. And so Enron uh, was this massive company. They're one of the darlings of Wall Street. They were just huge. They're making billions of dollars a year, supposedly. And they were just, you know, on top of the business world. But a lot of the revenue that they claimed to have made actually didn't exist. It just existed on paper. And so they used a bunch of accounting tricks and schemes and just straight up lies uh, to report out to the public that they were making billions and billions of dollars when in fact they were not. And in order to, to hide this, they had to make all these different companies and do all these complex financial things. And so the book dives into it. And since the fall of Enron, regulators have actually cracked down on a lot of what Enron did. So public companies, they have a lot more reporting requirements and a lot more things they need to do to ensure that a company doesn't defraud the public like Enron did. All right, book three is Den of Thieves by James B. Stewart. This is the oldest book on the list and it deals with insider trading in the 1980s. And so if you think of Gordon Gekko and Wall Street and the Wolf of Wall Street, kind of that era of Wall Street, uh, it was the era of big deals and mergers and acquisitions, which is when a company would go and purchase another company. And what happened is these group of people, you know, they realized whenever a company said they were going to go buy another company, that company's stock price usually rocketed up. And so what they did is before they announced that uh, a company was going to purchase another company, they went and bought the stock of that company. Uh, it was announced that they were going to get taken over and all of a sudden those people were able to make more money. And this is very illegal, it's called insider trading. And there was a bunch of them and it took down, this scandal took down quite a few people and this book explores it, really fascinating stuff. Book four is Billion Dollar Whale by Tom Wright and Bradley Hope. This book is about a man named Joe Lowe who was a Malaysian businessman who was able to defraud the, the basically the Malaysian government's fund uh, $4.5 billion. It's one of the biggest frauds of all time. Uh, he basically did it by himself. And he was also a crazy, massive partier. Uh, he threw some of the wildest parties in Las Vegas. He, he funded pretty much the Wolf of Wall Street. He, he invested $100 million in that production. 
Uh, he was often seen partying with Leonardo DiCaprio. And it, this is just a crazy story of someone who had access to an, you know, an insane amount of funds uh, and just went crazy with it. And, and the interesting thing here is he actually had a lot of that money. He actually had nearly a billion dollars in cash in his bank accounts. And when you, when you hear about you know, very wealthy people, about billionaires, a lot of their wealth is tied into their investments and their assets and so their stocks. And so they don't actually have cash in the bank that reflects their net worth. But Joe Lowe, he actually had a billion dollars in cash. It's just crazy to think about. Uh, I believe he's still on the run. I think he's in China. Uh, they haven't caught him yet. Uh, this is just a crazy story. And finally, book number five is Billion Dollar Loser by Reeves Weideman. And so this is the story of Adam Newman and his company WeWork. And of all the books on this list, this is probably one of the most recent. Uh, in the last year or two, we've heard a lot about this company WeWork, one of the most overvalued companies of all time. At one time, WeWork was valued at almost $50 billion, and then it just crumbled away. Once investors found out about Adam Newman, uh, the, the crazy eccentric CEO uh, who was not a good business leader, who was not a good person in many ways, um, and also about WeWork, that they actually really weren't that great of a business with almost no ways to profitability. I will say Adam Newman and WeWork were never actually convicted or proven guilty of any crimes but I think this book fits uh, the mold of, of these other books on this list. This book focuses on Adam Newman, uh, you know, the title Billion Dollar Loser is basically being applied to him. Um, and it talks about how he was able to convince investors to invest hundreds of millions of dollars into WeWork, even though, you know, the business plan didn't really make sense. Uh, it talks about the corporate culture. Uh, we read about all night parties and getaways, about drug use, about nepotism and really just not the smartest business decisions. Uh, of all the leaders I've read about, I think Adam Newman is probably the most appalling leader to me. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of redeeming traits to me, um, but still, I really enjoyed this book. So go check out Billion Dollar Loser. And so those were the five wild books about corporate white collar crime. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and comment below. Uh, if there's a book you've read that fits this, uh, this list and I missed it, please comment below. I'd love to add that to my reading list. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.